Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at you with another project. This is a 1977. It's a Yamaha GT80. Now you might have remembered on the uh, on my page before we had an um, an MX80. Basically same thing. Um, basically same thing as the RX80 or RX50 um, Yamaha. They're about, it says 80 on it. I call this the liar bike. It's 72 cc's. Um, but anywho, we're going to um, be working on this thing pretty soon. This is one that I got from Harvey Spooner. In fact, um, you might remember this. I picked this up with his KD80. And we're going to be working on that as well. Um, not today. I'm going to uh, show you guys what I picked up for this one. Um, I have a whole bunch of parts for Harvey's bike. Which we're going to be getting into at a later date. Um, so we're going to take a look at this one right here real quick and, um, you know, just kind of go off what we have and what's missing. Now, right away, I noticed the ignition coil is missing right off the bike. It was right here. There's a bracket and it hangs down. It, it actually mounts up in here with the two bolts here. And then the, the coil comes down and goes up to your spark plug. So I have to order that. Um, I didn't notice that when I was ordering parts and pieces. So I want to, uh... I'm going to have to go ahead and order that. So the clutch cable is there. The carburetor, we took it off. Um, it has missing some parts inside the carburetor as well. The engine is not seized and feels like it has compression. Um, it does have the exhaust tip. It has the little plugs in the fender, which is nice. The seat, that's the problem right there with the seat. And other than that, it's fairly clean. Um, it is oil injection. GT80, that's all there. When I got the bike, this is the condition that you saw it in. And if you guys watch the Harvey Spooner video, type in Harvey Spooner Kevin Bergeron, um, you'll see this bike in the form of the way I received it. And the tank was on it, but I took the tank off um, to put it on the trailer, so I haven't put it on yet. Um, so basically the bike was all complete. Uh, missing the carburetor and missing the cover the flywheel the bolt the nut the washes all that stuff was missing um, Basically just the way he received the bike so uh, going through some stuff ordered up a couple of things and um, Well, let me show you guys what I picked up so in here Some of the stuff I had by the way some of the stuff I had from an RX 50 all right, so in here, I ordered a flywheel on uh, eBay. That's where this came from, right here. This is for the GT, um, what do you call it, the 80. Right there. I have, this is another one. I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, and then we have, this is the cover that I had off of that RX50. And then I had the, this is the one I ordered, the rx uh, the GT80, I ordered this off of eBay as well. You can see how they're very close. Slight bit end on the tail difference, but both of these will work on the bike, but we're not going to, we're going to use that one that goes to the bike. And then, um, in here, I've got a couple of things. This is the carburetor that came off. You can see the broken um, insulator right there. But this is the carburetor that came off this bike right here. So I have that. Needs to be cleaned, ultrasonic cleaned. Um, and I have some other goodies in here. These are the bag of parts that came with that as well, except for the uh, petcock. This is an extra petcock I had kicking around, so I kept it for this bike, the same one. Um, we have a brand new set of points, the push rod for the clutch, uh, for the, um, yeah, for the clutch, and the return spring. That goes in back of that. The other things that was missing when I got the bike was it only had one of the tank rubbers. These right here allow the tank to sit into the cradle right up in here when you push the tank on. Um, so I only had one. I ended up with three because I had one that came with the bike. And I had two from that RX-50. So I'm all set with that to mount the tank back on. So we have those. That's good. 
and I think that's it. Oh yeah, I had the other parts carb right here. So I have a second carburetor. This one's a little different from that one. Um, different size insulator. So, uh, oh, wait, this third one, here we go. And I have another one as well. This one has a good insulator on it. All right, so we have we have a lot of parts and pieces. Now, these carburetors right here, for you folks who have the uh, the Yamaha, what the heck you call it, um, LB50, LB80 um, chappies, or if you have a Kawasaki um, KV75 or um, an MT1, same style carburetors, parts and pieces will work back and forth. Slightly different on the bowls, but if you don't care about that, you can use them. So, there's a little helpful tip on what goes back. These are all Makunis. Okay. Um, I have the slide for it. I have all that. And the other thing is, after we get the bike all up and running, I might change this up a bit after we do some work to it. Um, from the um, RX-50, I have here... A CDI unit this is the CDI unit right here you can see the flywheel with the four magnets right next to its older sister and then of course you got the magneto plate magneto plate it's in the same spot there's no points it's got a charge coil and a pickup pulse tube um, so I can run lights if I wanted to on this bike so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this bike if I'm going to make it an on off-road or just straight up off-road and probably put a uh, LED light on it. I'm not exactly sure yet, but uh, as always, I like to turn things up on the channel. So this bike might be getting CDI. We'll see how it goes. This CDI is different from the KE100 that I use on most of my bike. This one actually takes a CDI module. And coincidentally, I have a performance CDI module that would work on this ignition system as well. So um, we're not exactly sure which way we're going to go with that. For now, we're going to get the points going. Um, because we have those, we have the proper flywheel, and we're going to do this properly. I don't know about the top end. Um, I know that um, Harvey Spooner had mentioned that the bike has been sitting for 15 to 20 years um, when he got it. So, it's you know, he got it 15, 20 years ago. And chances are she's been sitting a lot longer than that. Now this is oil injection. Um, it's got a lot of cool features to it. Like, uh, well I'll show you. See that rubber plug? Now if you guys know my Kawasaki's, you know what that is. Um, that is for a tack drive. If you wanted to put a tachometer in this thing. Okay, on the floor in front of all this airline. I happen to have that, um, what do you call it there? This is the 50 motor. This is the, um, what do you call RX-50. And you'll notice a couple of differences on this already. This one has a neutral safety light. For a neutral safety light, if you want to put that on there for your indicator. It also has a tack drive that would work on that bike as well. So, pretty cool that we have an extra stuff, you know. So this motor here is a lot newer, but it also has a lot of the same stuff. So we have a parts engine that we're going to use on that bike. And um, what do you call it there as far as like if we want to put a neutral light or whatever. And I also have, these are old. These are a set of Yamaha gauges from an RD. And I think it would be pretty cool if we did something with at least a speedometer. Anyway, I think that would be pretty cool. Not that the bike would do 120 miles an hour, but we're going to figure something out. We're going to do something cool. Maybe not with those, but with some with some of the accessories that I can use off this motor, like the neutral light and the uh, the tachometer. So, when I received the bike, <coughs> and it was missing this cover and the flywheel, and I noticed the ignition coil is bad, I'm guessing this thing lost spark and they lost interest in it. So, they probably tried to fix it, couldn't fix it, and then... That's how it was. Then Harvey Spooner came along, saw it, fell in love with it, picked it up. Um, so we're, we're going to, you know, get into these type of things. 
one of the things that always concerns me when if ever a bike comes to me and it's a two-stroke is the condition of the cylinder um that's always been a big thing for me you know what's going on in there is it all tore up so we need to remove the cylinder head on this which we're going to do tonight um this is going to be a follow-up video um i'm going to be home for the rest of the week so we're going to start busting out some videos and uh get some of this projects caught up with and done so tonight we're going to rip the cylinder head off this we're going to clean up that crankshaft and uh, see if we can't put the new points on there we're going to mount the kawasaki coil to it and see if we can get spark if we can get spark and then we're going to take the head off and see the condition of it we're going to take the head off first before we try to do that because if it doesn't if the cylinder is all torn up we're going to have to go a different route but you guys understand that so let me guys show you uh, let me show you guys what else is coming up better weather here is guys so we have this one right here. You guys might notice from the last time it didn't have a handlebar. Um, I had a handlebar for it. So we're going to be putting this bike somewhat together, but not in the same fashion that uh, you think. Then I have a couple of bikes. These are for a friend of mine. I have to ship these out to him. Um, those are the two frames. I'm getting them ready to be shipped out. And then, of course, we have this bike right here. We have to do the electrical on. So first, we're going to mount the um, kickstand on. And we'll be working on that pretty soon. Okay. All right, guys. And then, of course, here is the Harvey Spooner bike, which we have the seat. We have the oil tank, the side cover. We have to do that. We need to take off that fuel tank, cut that bracket off, mount the fuel tank where that goes, reconnect the oil line. You can see how it's all plugged up right there, and it's not done correctly. So we need to go ahead and go through that whole thing. Find out when he's missing the rubber on the Kickstarter. I've got a Kickstarter for this. Even the proper bolt. That's not correct. So we're going to go through this whole thing. Change out the fuel system. And get this thing up and going for Harvey. Um, a lot of cool things. A lot of things that are not right. Like well. That's not supposed to be up like that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we got um, seat tank side cover oil uh oil reservoir and then we're going to get that all up and going for them clean it up clean the gob flush the system get the oil back up and working and uh go from there and we're going to need to reject this carburetor and of course yank the head off and take a look at the condition of the cylinder and then of course we have the chape 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 so we got this bike as well coming up so we have a lot of projects that we're going to be doing so pretty cool pretty cool so yeah so that's what we're working on tonight we're going to check out the yamaha i got to order some parts for it but as we go through it we'll see what she needs what we can do we're going to blow it off clean it all up and uh see where where it sits where where we're at with it um most off i want to get the head off and see the inside of the cylinder and uh, that's going to be the go or no go, and then we'll go from there. But I'm going to blow this thing off, get all this crap off the frame. Um, intake's taped off. Make sure it's taped off well. Yep, it is. Okay. So I'm going to get the airline out here, and we'll blow this thing off real quick. All right. Forgot to tell you guys, the inside of that tank is absolutely beautiful, too. All right, guys. Close your eyes. Ready? Crap is off this thing. Been sitting for a very long time guys a very long time
All right. A clean bike is a happy bike. These even these handlebars are straight. We're gonna to need to get some grips, you know, some levers, that sort of thing, but nothing too dramatic. Nothing that we can't handle on the channel. Touch up some paint up in the back there. This is where the toolkit goes. And guess what guys? I have the toolkit. I'm not the one that came off this bike particularly, but I have another one. I wonder if it even has oil in it. Oh yeah, look at that. So we got it's out with two stroke oil in it. Yay! Good, 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 good. So, things like that, you know. And then, uh, throttle cable works, everything works there. So, the motor does turn over, it's not seized, and I didn't put any oil in it. it feels like it's got some compression. So, like I said, tonight we're going to zap that head off, and we're going to go from there. This is the preliminary check. So, I know that I need a throttle grip, which I might actually have. I'm going to need a throttle cable. I'm going to need this grip right here that's broken off. Um, switches feel good. And we're going to definitely need tires, tubes. Doesn't look like any of the spokes are ripped out or missing. I checked that out already. And um, that's pretty much it for that, guys. This thing's in pretty good shape. I mean, I know it looks terrible, but the tank is in excellent condition. Let's see if you can see inside the tank here real quick. There's the cap. It's clean in there guys clean So realistically the coil the mount which we'll get um, Not a big deal Proper plug take that off and take a look and see if we need to um, Do a top end or what the case may be. We have no idea what happened to this bike It's been sitting for a very very long time and um so my knee brakes, we're going to go from there. we got to change the angle of the, the handlebars and knock those back. Um, so we'll do some, we'll do a couple of things to it tonight. Tonight we'll get the head off, clean up that crank, like I said, and fix the handlebars. And then uh, write everything down, see where we're at, and piece this bad boy back together. Well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't hit the uh, bell notification down below or subscribed, make sure you please do both. Um, that helps the channel grow and builds the support. So thank you guys, and I'll be talking to you guys soon.